Yeah, so guys, you're welcome today. You're you're all welcome to today's um today's training, and then um you're starting immediately. Um to today we are going to be doing more and more practicals, like I said the last time. So last time we have um We've all learned how to set up our set up our our Photoshop interface. I'm going to be going um into some other details today too, but let's just dive straight into let me share. I want to share my screen now. And then I'm going to dive straight into I'm diving straight into. Photoshop. Okay. Yeah. So um, here we are on Photoshop. And last time I, the last session we talked about, we talked about layers. We talked about um, we talked about layers. We talked about documents. Uh, how to create our document. We talk about how to work with layers. I'm going to be going over it again today. But now this is Photoshop, everyone. And then um, starting from here, today we're going to be talking about these tools. This this is the toolbar. We talk about all of this bar. You can see my, my cursor right now. This is everywhere. This is uh, all of the things that we dealt with last time. And then uh, this is the move tool, like the name implies it is move tool. So what we use is to, to move any, any we, use, we, use, we use it to move anything whatsoever. We use it to move layers, move layers, move whatever that you want to move. You can move anything, move text, move background, move everything. So I'm pressing Control Z here now to to, to undo all of the things that I've done. So you can move like this, move, 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 whatever. Everything you can, everything is movable with the move tool. Yeah, so, yeah, so this is uh, the marquee tool. And then I want to change to marquee tool, so I'm, I'm pressing my, uh, okay, uh, one, one, one other thing is these are on the, on this tool, we have the art board tool. But as beginners, you don't need something like that. Currently, you don't need it. So I'll say that you just leave it for now. This is the marquee tool. We have the rectangular marquee tool. We have the elliptical marquee tool, the single row marquee tool, the single color marquee tool. So what this marquee tool does is when you pick it, when you pick it up, you can you can affect whatever that you want to affect here. For example, let's say that we have we have a let's say that we have a picture here. I want to put a picture. I'm dragging in a picture right now. Let's say that we drag the picture inside there. Let's say that we drag the picture inside there. And then I, I, I pressed Ctrl T to adjust it. I drag the picture into and then I, I'm pressing Ctrl T. And then while I while, while when I want to I want to uh when I want to resize it, I hold my shift and my halt together and then I drag shift and hold shift and alt together to, to drag like this. So this is an image. And then you can, okay. yeah, you can, um, you can, you can do whatever that you want to do with these, um, with this image. Now let's just, uh, we are going to be using this image to test all of these tools now. So now, this is the market tool. If you put it on it now, 
we can be able to do whatever that we want to do on this image in the area that it, it has captured. For example, let's let's just bring um adjustment here. Okay, now let's say that I want to make I want to change the color of the space. You see that that is the only place that is changing. You see, that's the only place that is getting affected. Not all the layers. This is what we are changing. So what you what you what you what you need if you want to if you want to uh, create an effect on a part of the document that is not all of it. If you can expand it like this, you can bring it down. You can bring it to this place. You can you can expand it like that, or you or not. You might not. So that is the work of the market tool. And another thing that the market tool does is let me undo this. Another thing that the market tool does is if this is um, an image like this, you can you can delete that section of the image. How do you do that? If it, 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 it is not deleting now, I'm pressing delete now. It said could not complete it because the smart object is not it is not directly editable. And if you come here, you see, look at this thing. It means that it is not it is not editable here. If I double click here now, it takes me to another place where you can edit this picture. So in, but instead of doing that. Most of the things, most of the time, what you need to do, just do is just to rasterize this layer. And when you rasterize the layer, you can be able to use market to, to delete. Make sure that you are working on that layer. Hold the layer and then delete. Did you see that? Control Z. Bring Control Z to bring everything down. And then when you are using when you when you don't when you no longer need your market tool, what you need to do is just do control D to deselect. We have done many things now. I did control D to deselect market tool. Use that to select market tool. It's supposed to be. So we deselected market tool with that. And then we also um we also did a control of z control of z control plus alt z z to what to undo another way to undo is to come here and just hit undo control z step backward control z or control z so that is that about that let's move on to other tools let's move on to other tools now other tools that we have here we have the this is the this is for the uh, ellipse Elliptical tool, we can also do the same here. You know, that is that is for the other shape. We can also use single row market tool, just a row and all that. You can explore the black house. So another thing here is um the lasso tool. We have the lasso tool, the first lasso tool, and the polygonal lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool. So majorly the work of the lasso tool is the major work of the lasso tool is to remove backgrounds. You want to remove backgrounds. If you want to remove the background, so of of this, for example, let's cut up the image. You want to cut up the background of this image now. This is basically how to go about it. This fine woman, I'm going to be removing the background of this fine woman with, um, with the lasso tool. Look at the lasso tool. We use this is polygonal lasso tool, and this is um, la the another lasso tool. You can start from when you have picked up the tool and you are sure that you are on that layer. Make sure that you pick up that layer. Look at here. here look at the, uh, the active layer that is active here. So and then you start 
let's use the polygonal lasso tool. Most of the time, it is best to zoom out, to zoom out so that you can see the things that you are, you are doing. What I did there is just, is just to uh, hold Z and enlarge it. I held Z and then to take, take it back to the uh, good view, you use Control, Control O, Control O to bring it and then Control Plus to, to enlarge, Control Minus to zoom in. So let's start, uh, starting here, and then we are cutting this image so that we can be fast and not be too. So what this, this is what you do about, this is what you do. This is first start from outside, and then everywhere you start to just pick it up like that, one by one, 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 one like that. You hold up space to drag down. When you hold up space, you can be able to drag down see that it has changed when I, I, I left my space now and then you have that pointer of polygonal lasso again so now start to take it away take it like that like that like that you drag down go 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 like that like that and that we're cutting the cutting the background now I want to be very fast so that we can, uh, we can cover a lot. So in this area, you have to be very careful to, to take away the air one by one, one by one, one by one, by one, by one by one, one by one, one by one. So this is how to go about it. And to cut the shoulder, cut everywhere. Make sure that you zoom in, zoom in well, so that you can know the correct um, things that you are, you are cutting all of those things out now because you don't have time. But if it's a project that you're working on, you have to be very, very... So now that you have cut everything out, don't come here. Go the other way around. And click where you started. You can see that when I've when when it has not gotten to where we started, it didn't have the, the zero at that. It had a circle, that polygonal lasso. So when you put it, when you have gotten there, and you seen that when you have seen that lasso, then you click it. Now it, it has captured everywhere. And then this is how you delete the background. You right click, come to feather, give give it feather, and then you can delete. I've taken up that background. Picking up that background. So from here now, you can be able to can do whatever that you want to do with the yeah, picture. Delete it from here. Now, so delete. And you have it and then you can be able to walk. No looking, no looking good at all. So let me try and let me try and make it look good. Try and make it look good. Yeah, now the time that we are supposed to be very patient. Supposed to be very patient. A feather, make it five feather. This lady will be very, very angry with me when she sees this picture. <laughs> okay, so five So we can um we don't necessarily need to work with something perfect. So because this is not um I'm getting really get that way now. And then in case of um in case of uh, times that you, are, you want to do something fast, this is another way to get rid of the background. I need to get there, but I need to get rid of the background later. I need to, I'm, I'm learning how to get rid of another, another way to get rid of the background is go to remove.bg. So when you go to remove.bg, that's one of the tools that uh, 
the mood of bg is a tool that we're going to be dropping all of that in the after the cast and we're dropping it so remove that bg is one is one of the um, one of the tool they are going to be using for your design it is very very fast to use all you just need to do is to all you need to do is to um drag your photo or your image to the site and then to remove the hair high remove it for you but most of the time it's not always good it's good to come here and remove the background personally by yourself so another one is uh the magnetic lasso tool so the magnetic lasso tool is also it also does something like um the polygonal lasso tool so what that does is this one is, is very very fast so you just uh, you just lay it upon it like that. You can see just when you want to when you want to change, you can go 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 like that. So you come back here, okay. and then you can give it further size to it. Then you can come back here again, click out, start again, start laying it. So just keep in case so this is very, I think this is kind of faster. But in my case, I use polygonal lasso tool all the time. I use I, I use polygonal lasso tool. It also works like polygonal lasso tool, so just feather five. Okay. Yeah. And then you delete. And then you delete. Which D. You have taken away the background. So you can use your polygonal lasso tool to so, so like this. Yeah. Who's that? Please mute yourself, please. Please mute yourself. Thank you. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, so let's continue on to D. We have um, that, let's start about that now. So let's move on to, this is open selection tool, open selection tool, open selection tool. I'm just trying to work on um, the same image. So open selection tool a magic one tool. So this is, this also does the same thing, so you, you, you can we just come like that. So you come here, you can take my mouse to drag it out, 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 drag it out. Then you go to plus again to come here. Then you delete. Not perfect, but it does if you if you um if you that's just that's just how this work if you if you are careful with it be able to remove the background and do something beautiful with it so um let's move on the same with the magic wand that's does the same thing so this is a crop tool perspective crop tool slice tool and size select tool uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing, we're going to be learning a trick tomorrow. I'm going to be showing how to, how to do carousel slides, carousel slides, Instagram slides tomorrow. So this slides tool is going to be useful tomorrow when we do it. So it is, um, it is not useful for anything here, but for us personally, I seldom you also use a perspective crop tool. I don't even know what that is, but the crop tool is a, 
for cropping. If you want to crop all of the all of everything that is on, click that now. It's a crop it here, just like the way crop tool works normally. So this is hydropower two three. If you want to pick a pick a color like that, take any color from anywhere. That is what this hydropower tool does. Can pick any color on it. Probably you just drag in a document. Let me try and drag in one document now. Um, come in, let me drag in. Let me drag in this. So I just drag this in, and then I want to use the. I can take the color dropper, I drop out, and then you see I have the color here already. So then I can delete this. This way, I can get it. You can get colors from there like that. So this is a spot healing tool. Okay. So what this spot healing tool does is um, that it can. Spot even to for photo editors, major people people that do photo editing. This that's what they do. So if you if you have pimples, this is not a picture that has pimples now. Yeah, that would have that been so good. But healing brush tool also does the same thing. Patch tool, so you can um, if you have it all like that. You just you just clean it, clean it up, you clean things up, clean things up, clean things up. Do photography as well. For example, let's um let's do something now. Let's just let's wipe away this uh, uh let's assume that we want to we want to take away these hides and put something else there. So what you just do is to come we'll come here, just uh, or let me let's take away the high bro. So come here now and just come to this spot and you and then you just wipe away like that, and then that's it, and then you take away the Fine eyebrow, take away the fine eyebrow, just like that, and just take it away. Z. Or you want to, you want to take away the. Let's see, you want to take away these eyes. This lady is gonna fight me like this. So, like that. Okay, so that's uh, what sport in tool does. Let's see that you want to take it with these eyes too. And then you want to put the you want to put the high of um you want to put the high of um yeah come here, let me just get um I want to get a frog eyes and just put it there. Come in frog eyes. What I'm doing right now is just go to Google and get a frog eyes. I'm going to Google right now, frog eyes. Copy, paste here. Let's see, you want to just. Okay, so. Come in. I don't know what I'm doing right when I'm doing right now, but I want to just want to try and show you how to so I want to try and take it with this. This four guys with me. I don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> so let's try to. Whatever that it is. So if you, um, if you get, let me take away this fine highs bar. Let me take all of this bar. So it, um, God forbid, this beautiful lady. So that's the work of um, the sport healing tool and the healing brush tool. I think practically what of all of these two tools is um, the same thing. So this is brush tool. So this is for uh, anytime you want to use the brush tool, don't forget, make sure you create a new layer. 
this is how to create a new layer. You come here, you can see here, it's my cursor there, so you can create a new layer there. When you create a new layer there, you can be able to use this brush tool, you know, just, um, for example, you want to, you want to just um, do whatever that you want to do. You can increase the size here, increase the size here, so I'm going to do something beautiful with it. As we get into the class, we'll see what we how to utilize all this. So this pencil, this is pencil tool, you can draw whatever that you want to draw. You can, you can use it. So majorly this this is being used for you can you can see you can. Whatever that you want to do with all of these tools, color replacement tool, all of this is a clone stamp. So, okay, another thing for clone stamp, let me, I think I want to, I want to talk about clone stamp, stamp. So what clone stamp does is, um, okay, let's come here. Yeah. So this, this can be cloned into this place. For example, look at the way this is now. And then you want to you want to copy this this area. And then you want to paste in some other areas. So this is basically how it works. You just when you open when you click your clone stamp, make sure that you're on the same. So you hold alt and you just and then you can paste it there. So what clone stamp does is it can take this and take and bring it away there. Let's create another one there. You can come here and duplicate something else there. So you can use you can do whatever. It's close down on this layer. Depends on what you want to use it for. So this is history. Okay, this is brush tool. Okay, this is brush tool. So this the the mirror various kinds of brushes here. Store new brushes tool. So on that layer, then if you want to also use a brush tool, like I said, other time, like this brush tool. History brush to add brush to. If you want to use all of those tools, you have to first create a new layer. Create a new layer. Create a new layer. And then uh, after I have created a new layer, you can then now use your history and you can use your brush to. to start to do whatever you can just whatever that you want to do with um, a brush tool you can do everything anything anything whatever that you want to do with your brush tool so uh eraser tool Okay, like that other one. Let me let me bring in this guy again. Tamper with the other one too. So when you come here like this, the eraser to what eraser to does is you can also erase like that. The worker that it does take away the eyes, take away the eyes, take away, take away, take away like that. So, background magic eraser tool. When you use this, now you can take away the background once and for all. But most of the time, it's not always neat, so you, can, you might need to. 
and I need to, this is gradient two, this is to create gradients. What you, what you basically need to do is uh, just drag it like that and then it creates gradient. And then you can bring this guy to the back. That you also can set your gradient for various different colors. Now you change your gradient, different color. When you have it here, you can come here, you change your gradient, drag it down. Give us something else. We get. We need to just using two or more colors. You can use as many as possible colors that you want to use. You can put new gradient here and then call it uh, blue, blue, black. Then you can come here. Oh, I don't read that. Then we can come here and so we click on that gradient tool there. It comes and then I'll pick up the tool and then we can go let's stay. Let's take this color. And then the other one, we also change it here. Change it. We come there and drag it down, it changes to the other color. That's the work of gradient. You can create as many as possible gradients. You can change the orientation of the gradient. Um, and then you can, you can drag this to the other side and drag that to the other side. And then when we create it, yellow goes up and then blue comes down. Or you can use linear gradients. Edit your gradient, and um, you can save your gradients so that you can reuse them. Yes, so you can reuse them. And then um, what else? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, let's move on. This is blow to blow to taking away that gradient. Here. So blow to um, what blow to does is I don't think I just blow to so sharpen to okay. This for I just sharpen to before for sharpening up. A blur, a blurry image where right? you have something blur. Can use the sharpen tool to sharpen it on more of it. You can also destroy the image. Stand goes on. So you don't know how to use it well. If you learn, this is dog tool. This is pen tool. Yeah, when we get to Illustrator, we use more of pen to more pen to is also very, very essential. You can draw crazy things with pen to. Okay. Draw, draw whatsoever. Draw.
So this is the test tool. And you can yeah, using the um yeah, using the new the latest version that is 2020 2021 you this will the more you pick up the pen tool, it will bring a Laurel Ipsum for you. And then you can edit it. You can create a text box. Let's create something like this. And then say, let me just let me go and get a random test generator now. And just generate a text generator. Okay, and just copy something and paste here. So if you paste that here, it won't exceed, it will not exceed that, um, that area. Change the color of text here. Change the color of text there. That will not do well. We sit it down. You can do whatever that you want to do with the text, right? Pick up this thing, this one. Make it better. Pick up that um, that um, picking up this. Let's call this woman. Let's call this a woman magazine. I'm just um, trying to do something right now. This is woman magazine. And then we can drag this down. Uh, don't worry all of this thing now we're still going to touch them one by one when we are designing the flyer that i want to design that's why the end of this class i like us to design fire just from scratch and um, is anybody please i like us to I like you to um, drop for me any a content that we can work on tonight. Drop for me a content that we can work work on tonight. And then we can do something together. Okay. So, uh, we'll start by the test tool. This is a path selection tool. I don't think you need that. This is also a um, a shape tool. This is rectangle. That was, that was what I used to. That's what I used to create this the other time. And then this is a rounded tool. I used to create that. Then we can also use and create the ellipse tool. You come here and fill it with text or with um and fill it here with, with color and take away the stroke here or put a stroke here, increase the stroke here, and increase the stroke of the color of the of the on the stroke right now so you just took away the stroke here so this is uh the move to probably you have it like this and then you can be able to drag 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 the shortcut is basically m l space bar and use the space bar like that and then you can drag it this is also the zoom tool 